Now we're going to take a look at one of Sidikov's uh, common attacks, this overtie swim attack. Whether he goes from overtie or fakes overtie and then goes. Uh, it's one of his best entries in the guy's legs and he does it a ton. So what we're going to take a, take a look at first is his footwork. So here we see he's in overtie. He's going to do the split step right into a leg attack. All right. Um, I've always heard it called split step for this kind of footwork. So here we see he's right leg lead, or excuse me, left leg lead. And he's going to split both his feet a little bit backwards. So his back one's going to go back a little bit. And his front one's going to go forward a little bit. So he's like splitting the difference and his body is pretty much staying in the same spot. So if I drop a line right through here, you can see his body pretty much stays right around that line. All right, this is different than a normal inside step penetration or even a normal outside step penetration where his feet are covering distance toward the opponent. Instead, like I said, been calling it a split step as the guy Split steps, or excuse me, as Sidikov split steps, he's taking care of his level change with the split. And one important thing to note here is that his back foot is always hitting first. All right, so here we see both feet starting to come off the ground. But as he continues to split, we see the back foot hit the mat first. And then his front foot hit the mat. All right. This just is so that he can get some forward momentum and forward drive into his attack. If his front foot hits first, he's likely going to push himself backwards and it won't be as powerful. But if his back foot hits first, he's going to have powered forward, power forward into his opponents. All right. So one last time through. He's left leg lead. And he's just going to split his feet a little bit wider. Right into this big split step. Penetration. Into high crotch. Here we're going to see him use a split step as well. But this time, his left leg's going to be forward. Excuse me, his right leg's going to be forward first. And then he's going to split step. So let's back it up. So here his right leg is forward in front of his left leg. He's just going to do the same exact footwork but change his lead legs as he attacks. So he splits. Again, back foot hits the mat first. And then front foot hits the mat second. That way he's got some forward momentum. And right into his leg attack. Here he attacks um, single leg instead of high crotch. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. One more time. So in the first clip, he was leading left leg and just split and kept his feet the same. So his left leg lead the whole time. Here, he's right leg lead. And he's going to split to left leg lead and then penetrate in. Now let's talk a little bit about his penetration. Excuse me. Um, his position as he gets to the leg. So here, split step, back foot hits first, just like we've seen in all the other ones. Now I would consider this one a pretty ideal attack um, and position for him. So he slides his back knee in and keeps his outside knee off the mat the whole time. This allows him to get up and through his opponent right away, shifting their weight and finishing. So as he's doing the split step to his attack, ideally, he's trying to keep this outside knee off the mat. Now, there's some times where it has to go down or maybe the opponent forces it down, but ideally, Outside foot up off the mat so he can come to his feet, shift their weight right away, and be good to go. All right, on this one, we're going to see his outside knee go to the mat. So again, big split step. Now, 
as he penetrates, penetrates, there's still a bunch of space to be covered for his hips to get to the leg and his other shoulder to get to his opponent's hip. So since there's more space that he has to cover, he's going to continue to drive toward his outside knee to get his shoulder in place in the guy's hip and ear on the guy's hip and fix a little bit of his angle. So we see his opponent start to turn um, this direction, like around him a little bit. So Sitakov wants to fix that angle by windshield wiper and an opponent puts him in crackdown. But um, if they stay on their feet, he would likely be looking to step this knee back up to get to his feet and finish. So ideally, he keeps his outside knee off the mat the whole time. But if he has to fix his angle or has to cover more distance to get his hips and shoulder to his opponent, then he'll penetrate all the way through his knee and then worry about fixing his position from there. So now let's talk about what I think is the genius of this attack, all right? Um, what makes it really effective pretty much no matter what the opponent's doing. All right, so it's going to come from the same place every time, just about either overtie or quick touch, overtie, and then go. All right, so we see him overtie. Now, opponent has right leg lead. All right, so Sitikov is going to split step and attack that leg. All right, it's pretty much that simple. So here, opponent's going to have right leg lead. He's going to fake touch overtie and then attack his opponent's lead leg. All right, and that's really pretty much the rule he goes by is I can um, overtie, split step, and attack either leg, whichever one's forward. All right, here we're gonna see his opponent's gonna have left leg lead, but he's gonna do the same exact foot motion and hand setup and uh, split step to get to his leg. So here, opponent's hard left leg lead. He's gonna do the same thing. Split step, right to single leg. Similar thing here. Opponent's gonna be left leg lead. All right, we see his left foot just a little bit in front of his right. And Sitakov is gonna do his same over tie touch right here and then split step making his left foot go forward to attack and he's just gonna grab the leg that's in front so on left leg leads he can single leg he can also double leg if they are um, taking their leg back as he attacks. So again, same thing, reaches up, fake touches over tie, same split step, right hand attacking their lead leg. Now opponent squares a little bit to try and get off his single leg. So he just turns it into a double leg. Same thing here touch as he attacks opponent's feet kind of square up goes straight into double leg so that's really what I think the um, genius part about this attack is he uses the same motion for opponents either lead leg and he just reaches for whichever one's in front right? and then finishes accordingly if he's single leg he goes head inside finishes if he's high crotch he goes head outside finish if he's double leg goes double leg finish but the, the fact that he can attack but essentially every stance with one motion makes his wrestling super simple. Not that it's hard, not that it's um, easy to execute, but that it's a simple system in order to attack his opponent.